Hey guys, this is Smart Rodriguez, and we're here celebrating our 200th video on this channel, Video Game Masters 09. And what I want to do is I'm going to read off a couple of stats here on the website, you know, give a couple of um, shout outs here and there and everything, and a couple of announcements on the channel on the things I'm thinking of. And, uh, well, first I want to say thanks to all you guys out here, because I know we don't really have that many views or subscribers and stuff like the big, you know, the, the big ones out there on YouTube land and everything, but we still have people that watch the show, you guys still enjoy it, you leave your comments your likes and all your things so I really appreciate it I mean we're just normal people having fun and talking about our nerdy geeky you know game stuff anime stuff reviewing um, all these superhero movies that are coming out all that kind of stuff and we do appreciate that you guys are watching and commenting and all that good stuff so yeah this is um just random stuff I decided to, to go with you know with um like um, all the nostalgia and things from throughout the years with Video Game Master, some of our weapons and things, and a little collection of um, anime con things I went to, like Anime Con, um, Fanatical Fest, of course, Anime Vegas, and of course the most recent one we just went to, Zenkai Con 2014. You know, little things like that, and a couple of random knickknacks in the background. But um, anyways, let's um, continue with the channel. So as of right now, which is, I do believe it's, May 25th, 2014, this channel, Video Game Masters 09, has 97 subscribers, which is pretty cool. Um, as you guys know, this channel used to be on the channel that Johnny has now, but, you know, the episodes are out of order and blah, blah, so I rearranged everything, whole new channel. We had uh, over 100 subscribers or so then, so now we're, I guess we're kind of going back up there, right? And anyways, let's check this out here. We got a couple of shout-outs here. Um, first of all, I... I guess, I don't know if you really count as shoutouts because I give you guys lots of shoutouts as is, like Impulse Kid, and of course, um, Rocky Armas, and um, another terrible idea, I mean, you guys are part of our show anyway, I don't know if that counts as a shoutout, and Fatima, I worked with her before, so I guess free shoutout for you, but you know, we worked before, but yeah, I want to leave up some random people because it's just too much to do all 97 I'm gonna I'm not sure if this goes by order of subscribers or by names or alphabetic orders so I'm just gonna go like five shout outs of the people from the bottom of the list and five shout outs from the people from the top of the list so let me give a shout out to Power Stars 321 I actually worked with him we did a video talking about um, the Street Fighter there was that weird 3D Capcom I forgot what it was called. It was some this 3D Capcom game that eventually became um, Capcom Fighting Evolution or Capcom Fighting Jam. But it was this game that was supposed to be something else. It got screwed up. But me and him covered it because his show deals with games that were never released and details on why. And then we have, let me see here, we got Sarah Churchill. She has a channel about reading books and all this stuff. And I'm surprised how many movies are based on books. So, I mean, her channel is worth checking out. And then we have, let me see, we got Lawrence Gilmer. Thanks for checking out my channel, dude. I appreciate your comments, your views, your likes, and everything. We got the Nawa F258. Also, thanks for checking out to my channel and subscribing and everything. We got Sting62287. You're awesome, dude. Uh, again, appreciate your comments and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching the channel. And now let me go for the last, these are like the five ones on top. So we got uh, Block, no, sorry. Black Tyranno 6899. So yeah, Black Tyranno. Thanks for checking out the channel. We also got Kaz Rose. We got Zeke Guerra. And we also got Austin Manning. So once again, thanks to all you guys watching the channel. Oh, I got someone called Silver Sea and God. I did a free shout out just because that's cool. That's a cool name. But yeah, thanks to all you guys out there. Everyone did a name and did a name. And of course, thanks to the other people that are actually a part of our show and channel, like the Sweet Pete and Pika Chica and, you know, Dance of the Bora. We talked to her a couple of times on our podcast. And of course, Ben Khalife. Thanks to all you guys, all you people that contribute to our channel. Yes, Chuck Rodriguez too. All you people out there. Thank you, all of you. And now I want to do real quick, let's take a look at... Um, the top five most viewed videos on our channel so far, as of, of course, as of today, May um, 25th, 2014. Give me just one second here. There is a, there we go. Most viewed. So the top five, we have the number one video most seen in our channel, and this is going to take a while to top, if ever, is the TMNT one hour season finale trailer and our thoughts on it. Wow, guys, this has... As of right now, 4,839 views. 
Wow, and I mean, we didn't even post the trailer like how other channels do. I seriously think that's a copyright issue when you just actually post a full trailer like that. And those, those, most, of those, most of them channels get taken down or whatever. But, I mean, I didn't post the trailer. All we did was post a link to the trailer. And, of course, me and Paige gave our thoughts on what we were expecting or what we were thinking about season finale. But, wow, even just that, even just, like, just the link and us talking, and that got over 4,000 views. I mean, wow. It just shows how super epic this new um, Nickelodeon TMNT show really is. I mean, wow. And yeah, there's already like a third season confirmed and possibly a fourth season. So, okay, so the second one is, um, should the Joker die at the end of Death in the Family? Death of the Family, I'm sorry. And um, yeah, this is one of my random rants or discussion videos. And this was like back in the old apartment. And yeah, I was talking about like um, the whole Death of the Family, that big story. And how the Joker cut his face off, disappeared for a year or so. Now he came back and he's attacking the family and all that junk. And, and in my opinion, I was asking... Um, if the Joker goes too far, should Batman just end it already? But, of course, you know, that didn't happen. And for many people, they just found out, like, a whole hum story that wasn't really, like, worth the big... I mean, Joker came back, he screwed everyone, nothing really happened. I mean, ironically, Damien would die a couple of months later, but it wasn't due to the Joker or something else. So, I mean, the Joker didn't even do that right. So, yeah. But anyways, that, that video has 780 views. Then we have our Video Game Masters Episode 12, Dragon Ball GT Final Bout Review, and Ultimate Battle 22. And that one has 773 views. And I do have to say, I do remember in the old channel, that episode had like about two or even 3,000 views too. And, and, and for me, it was very hard to like take it down and re-upload it here. And even though, I mean, 700 and so isn't that big of a number, it's still pretty awesome though that it's got so many views. Because yeah, I mean... GT was like the first game that was officially released to the states without doing like weird import mumble jumbo to bring it over and the game sucked as all hell and nowadays you can just find it anywhere I mean we found it in this retro game store for like 20 bucks but like back then it was like over six or seven hundred dollars to buy it on eBay or some crap I mean geez and the game sucks that's the thing it sucks on top of it um okay number four Marvin Page at Sci-Fi Valley Con 2013 and that receives um, 497 views. And of course it's us at the Sci-Fi Valley Con. And um, yeah, it's a pretty cool con. All the sci-fi stuff and everything. And we interviewed these people that are starting a Kickstarter on the episode. This um, weird medieval Batman. And we did see the first episode. It's already up by now. I'll see if I can try to find a link to post it down. And um, I mean, it was interesting. It was pretty good considering and everything. It was just... Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's it, it's hard to really criticize because these aren't like super professionals. These are guys that hired actors and they pay for the whole thing and they didn't explain in great detail like how much work went into making the medieval Batman costume and, and the, the fucker is heavy too, you know? And I mean, I, I can't really complain. I mean, I guess it could have been a little better or something, but it, it relied more on the acting than the, than any action. But we're going to see how far they're going in the main second episode or not. I'm going to Check the link below and, you know, I guess I'll add a comment or something if they did go to the... Because this is like back in um, last year, May 19, 2013. So I don't know if they had a second episode or in the middle of it or not. And then finally we have Megan Fox set to play April O'Neil in the upcoming TMNT movie. Which is 458 views. Which is, of course, yeah, my thoughts of Megan Fox is April. And, like I said in that video, April has so many different personalities. I mean, nowadays they even made her a teenage kid that's immune to mutagen and whatever. I mean, it's really hard to to say if, if Megan Fox is playing April right or wrong. April just doesn't really have a consistent character that that well. So, I mean, if, if Megan Fox screws it up, it's kind of hard to complain because April, I mean, she's just... She varies. She's a scientist. She's a news reporter. She's a kid. She's an adult. She's a living drawing. She's a mutagen immune. I don't know. She's a whole bunch of stuff. And now she's made in Fox. So, yeah. So, anyways, guys. Other things I want to do now is I want to give some announcements on the channel. And one thing I do want to say is that, first of all, we got two new segments. Two new segments I want to add to the channel. And uh, I want you to know that I hope that this isn't going too far from what you guys expect from the channel. 
because I know this is video game masters, this is a video game channel, and I do say that, um, you know, the big thing, the, the major thing I really love the most, and will always love number one on top of everything, is the video game masters show. I always want this channel that, that first and foremost, it is about video game masters. Everything else is extra good stuff that we add on there. But the thing is, these episodes, they do take a while to make, and instead of having the channel just be dead for a month before the next episode comes out, I mean, I do have things like the Let's Plays, and uh, Mark vs. The World out on DVD and all this all this other stuff that that goes in there but I hope that you guys um, if you guys feel this is going too far for the channel because I, I have had I have seen other videos where for example a person is like let's say I don't know it's all about Batman or something you know and um, like maybe he did a review on let's say Sailor Moon and people would post like dude I go to this channel to see Batman I don't give a crap about Sailor Moon I mean even Angry Joe he did like a let's play video about something or something and some fan posted like hey I, where's the reviews I go to this channel to see your angry reviews not some random let's play of some game I don't care about so so that's the thing if you guys think it's going too far from the channel let me know I'll see what I can do because I really do enjoy this and in a certain way I mean it's all connected really I mean if you look at it video games cartoons movies anime it all kind of goes into one thing. I mean, look at the Turtles. The Turtles got a live action movie that you know we're going to review. They got video games that we have reviewed. We're going to review more Turtle video games coming out. I mean, there's Turtle cartoons and stuff that we sometimes talk about or blog about. I mean, animes have video games based on them. Movies are based on animes and comics. I mean, Batman, Superman, you know, cosplay. I mean, it's all, it's all one big same thing anyway. So I think if you guys like the Video Game Master Show and all our other random things. I mean, I, I think you'll like these other segments that we're doing and stuff like that. And in fact, I actually wanted to make a Video Game Master's episode to be the the 200th video because, I mean, it's just perfect. But it's just, I mean, we, we got some delays. We got some more things to edit and people setting in their, their scenes and lines and stuff. And we got stuff like X-Men Days of Future Past coming out that I also want to review and everything. So, I mean... I made this video instead, and yeah, you know, 200 video, it probably deserves its own video. But anyways, anyways, back to the point. We got, um, these two videos, these two segments we're making right now. The first segment I got inspired just yesterday, and it's, it's going to be like a comic book segment. I think I want to call it something like Mark Does Comics or Mark Reads Comics. I don't know, something like that. But the main thing is that, to kind of schedule a little bit, is every, every week... I know that free con I, mean, I know the comic book day is Wednesday, but unfortunately I can't make it every Wednesday due to my job, and um, the schedule changes every month. So I mean, for now I'm gonna try to do it every Saturday until I have a month that allows me to get there every Wednesday. But the basic thing is I'm gonna go to the comic book store like I always do and get like uh, my comics and everything. So what I'm gonna do is that randomly, completely randomly, completely unexpectedly, I'm gonna pick one comic book of that that particular week that I bought comics. And basically do a review and read it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the comic book. I'm going to read it and everything. And I mean, no, I'm not going to bore you as I read the whole comic book. I'm going to edit it out. I'm going to mix up with, um, I don't know. It'll be a weird thing. It'll be like a mixture between my reactions and certain panels that were interesting or things. Like like this new X-Men thing where Cyclops left the team, like I would have probably been like, What the fuck? He left the X-Men? How's that gonna work? That that kind of stuff. So it'll be like a mixture of my reactions, a mixture of some things that are worth keeping, and then and then like my little review at the end of what I thought of that particular comic and stuff like that. And yeah, it's it's just random because the only comic books that I really do follow religiously are the Ninja Turtle comics. I think that's it, Ninja Turtle comics. Everything else is random. Everything else is like, I might buy Batman, I might buy, um, like, Spider-Man, because I like to see what Spider-Man's doing now that he's got his body back and how he reacts to everything that's changed in his absence and stuff like that. But sometimes this random junk just comes out of nowhere. It's like, whoa, Carnage versus Deadpool, I'll buy that. So, I mean, I can't really promise you or suggest what I'm going to do or what I'm going to read. But, yeah, what do you guys think? It'll be a cool thing. It'll be like, like I said, it's just a cut and paste of the best scenes of that part of my facial reactions, little panels, little voiceovers here and there, and a review of the comic and stuff like that. I do warn you that, of course, it will have spoilers. So if you haven't read that particular issue, you know, stay away. And that's the first segment. And the second segment is actually a surprise. It's going to be once a month. It's going to be random. I don't really know what day it'll be. So you guys got to, you know, keep an eye on the channel and everything. And, um... Well, all I can say is that it's unexpected even to me, 
And if you guys have been watching Paige's channel, um, there's a clue in there somewhere. It's it's somehow related or somehow linked to what Paige is doing in her videos. So if you guys are very like clever observers, and I think she even she even mentioned it randomly in one of her let's plays or something like that. So so yeah, if you've been watching Paige's videos and see the kind of videos that she does, it's a little clue of what I'm going to be doing on my channel, and it'll be kind of related because like when I do it on my channel, I'm going to be and by the way check out what Paige thinks here, and she'll also be saying check out Mark's you know opinion there. So you're going to have to kind of crisscross a bit between both channels and everything but yeah those are my two main segments and i mean life has been busy guys lots of stuff going on um i've been off xbox live but i'm going to get it back um page gave me a three month subscription and i'm saving up because i do know beginning of june ultra street fighter 4 is coming out so i'm gonna i'm gonna buy that get back online fight against you guys out there and of course we will be reviewing that too so lots of stuff so yeah so between between out on DVD and um, Mark and Page at the movies with all these superhero movies that are coming out. I mean, wow, we got all these superhero movies coming out. Of course, our video game masters episodes, our let's plays, our verses, the new comic review show, all these new things. I hope that the channel will remain active enough for for most more, for more people to check it out, to like, to enjoy, to view, to comment, to subscribe, and all that stuff. Thank all you guys out there to, um, to for subscribing and everything. And yeah, why don't we compare this? I'll compare this to when we make like our, I don't know, our, our 400 video. And we'll see where the channel is at that point in time. So anyways, guys, um, as always, this is Mark Rodriguez here. And I'm glad that you guys are watching my channel. And I just wanted to show this off for no apparent reason other than it's badass. So yeah, so thanks for watching. And see you all next time.